Hello my dear friends, I'm Corey and in this video we'll show you the difference between texture paint and real sand and gravel. If you would ask me what's the hardest part for me when painting a model, I would surely say basing my miniatures. Not because it is a hard thing to do in and of itself, actually basing the miniatures it is one of the easiest steps when painting a model, but just because to me a properly based model it is much more realistic. And so I ended up struggling a lot just because I don't know what kind of terrain I would like to see under the feet of my models, because I don't like to have the same terrain for all of my armies. I always like to change and do different things for different armies. But what are the most common ways to basing your miniatures? Well, there are two. Texture paint or using real sand, gravels and rocks and glue it onto the base. And these are the two methods that I'm going to show you here in these videos. All of their pros, all of their cons, the differences between these two methods, so that you can decide which one is the best for you. So let's start with the most quick and easy one of the two, which is using texture paint. But what is texture paint? Well, it is a special kind of paint that, thanks to its properties, when you apply it onto a base, or any surface actually, when you let it dry, it will have a nice texturized finish to it that will simulate earth, mud, sand, basically any kind of terrain. One of the greatest advantage of texture paint is that it is quite easy to use and it's ready to go. You just put it out of the pot, apply it onto a base, let it dry, and you're done. It is basically a straight out of the pot solution for basing your miniatures. Even though I still suggest you that after it dries, you still apply a layer of wash and dry brush it a little bit, so to make it look even more realistic and maybe glue some static grass and grass stuff onto it. But let's just go on the hobby table so that I can show you more in detail what using texture paint is like. For my test subject, I'm going to use two 25mm bases with a flying stem that I have here for a side project. Or maybe a future video! First, you need to paint the model that you want to apply on the base. In this case, I have painted the skull and tiny rock as an example. Simply take the texture paint with a tiny spatula or a paintbrush and spread it onto the base. Don't worry about covering some part of the model and obscuring the paint job, it will actually help improving the overall realism. Be also careful to wash your brush thoroughly if you use one with this paint, because otherwise it will be completely ruined. Now you just have to wait. Unfortunately, one of the drawbacks of this technique is that texture paint takes a lot of time to dry. When it dries, wash it with your favorite wash. I'm using a sepia wash in this case, but any dark brown wash would do the job. When the wash is dry, dry brush the base in order to highlight it. You don't have to be super precise. Remember that nature is very random and there isn't a right way to dry brush your bases. To add some extra details, glue some grass tuft or static grass on it to finish it. So, as I said a minute ago, texture paint is a very easy way to base your models. But, of course, it does have some drawbacks. A single pot of texture paint from Citadel costs around 6 euros, which is quite a lot if you take into consideration that there are only 24 milliliters of paint inside of that pot. And when you start thinking about the fact that you will have to base an entire army, let alone basing a heavy infantry army, well, you will have to spend a lot of money. But if I can give you a little suggestion for what, in my opinion, is the best brand of texture paint, I suggest you to use the AK Interactive line of texture paints. They didn't sponsor this video, but I honestly think that their texture paints are actually the best out in the market. For two reasons. First of all, their range of paint, because there are a lot of them. And second of all, the price. Because that 24 milliliter Citadel texture paint pot that costs around 6 euros, well, an AK interactive 
texture paint pots. There are 250 milliliters of it and it costs around 10 euros. So for just three to four euros more, you will have like 10 times the amount of paint and well, it will last you for an entire army or even more than once. So now that I have spoke about texture paint, let's move to the more classic way to base your model, which is using real sand, gravels and rocks. Using sand has been the most common way to base your model. And the reason is that it is extremely cheap and easy to apply. Now, the way that you use this kind of materials instead of texture paint is a little bit different, but still it is very easy. The great thing about using sand and rocks is that since we can find them into our world in nature when we're going to use them for basing our model, well, they will look extremely real. But when you want to base your miniatures with this kind of materials, you will have to think differently than instead using texture paint. Let's go on the hobby table and I will show you more in detail what I mean. For this method, the way to base your model is a little bit different. Everything from the miniature to the bits applied on the base will be primed and painted together. Start by applying some vinyl glue on the base, then take your sand and cover the entire thing with it, then shake off the excess and wait for the glue to dry. You can apply more layer of sand to make the ground uneven and more interesting. After everything dried, prime the model and paint it. It's just a matter of base coating the terrain in the color you want your base to be, and then wash it, dry brush it, and glue on it some grass stuff or some static grass. Also, very important, paint the rim of the base in black or brown to finish it up. Here are the two bases side to side. Let me know which method you prefer. When compared to texture paint, using sand, gravels and rock, it is a more laborious process, but with two great advantages. First, it looks way more real than texture paint, and second, it is way cheaper than using texture paint. Because you don't have to buy it, technically. You can just go outside in the real world, take some dirt on the ground, maybe wash it a little bit, and you can use it as a basing material. Or you can go to a DIY store and buy some decorative sand. I've done a video about it. It's called Basing Your Miniature on a Budget. I will leave the link down in the description if you want to go and check it out. But basically, just buy some decorative sand. There is a lot of it and it is a lot cheaper than buying texture paint. And you will have so much sand that it will last you for more than like dozens of armies. When I have to decide which one to use, well, it depends. If I want to speed paint my way through an army, I would use texture paint. But instead, if I want to work a little bit more and create a more interesting landscape, maybe an alien terrain, maybe something that revolves around the story of my miniatures, I would definitely use sand, gravels and work a little bit more in order to make it look more interesting. But you need to let me know what is the method that you prefer or also leaving some suggestions down in the comments on your ways to base in your models. Also leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos in this channel and also down in the description you will find a lot of links, my videos, my Instagram and a way to support me, which you don't have to, but if you want I will be extremely grateful. So my friends, this is the end of the video. I'm Cory and I hope to see you the next time. Ciao, ciao.